Pratika. My name is Pratika Mong, and in this video I will go through the full badminton swing for forehand and backhand. Um, let's get started. Um, three, I guess if you're going to teach this by the numbers, uh, would be three. One, two, and three. One is uh, get set. Two is prepare to swing. Three is swing. So to go through that, I'll sh show you forehand. Uh, first position is here. It's the ready position. Uh, feet a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. Racket at neutral position. Grip is a natural grip. Non-racket hand up. This is position one. Position two, in the transition to position one and two, is critical. Okay, so you step back and you want to turn the shoulders, turn the hip, and step back with the heel so that your feet are perpendicular to each other. And pull back here. So one, two, your elbows here. See where the red uh, stripes are on the racket here. And what you want to do is from here, you use your non-racket hand as a guide to point to the shuttle. So one, two, and then when you swing, you want to pull down with your non-racket hand. Okay, uh, several things are going to happen. You're going to pull down with your non-racket hand. Your shoulders are going to turn, your hip uh, is going to turn, and the heel is going to turn. All at the same time, while you're bringing the racket forward and pronating your forearm to hit the shuttle. The ceiling's low in here, so I can't do a full body extension, but otherwise you would want to do a full body extension, so like that is to reach the shuttle here. But because the ceiling is low, I'm just going to do a more shrunken body position. So, <clears throat> again, position one. Feet slightly uh, larger than shoulder width apart. Knees bent. Racket out in front of you in the center. Non racket arm up. Position two. Everything is turned. Non racket hands up, elbows slightly down, hips turn, feet perpendicular to each other, shoulders turn. Three for the swing, pull down, turn the shoulders, turn the hip, turn the heel, make contact, boom, and the follow through. Okay, so one, two, swing. Now when you swing, it is very important to concentrate on what I call A to B. A to B is taking your racket from here, this is A to B. B to C is just the follow through. The most important thing is from A to B. This movement here. Okay. Now for the backhand, uh, so you going this way, same starting position, speech slightly wider than shoulder width apart, racket up in front of you, not racket hand up, knee slightly bent, shuttle comes this way, you turn so that your back is to the net, your racket goes down, your racket, pretend your racket is like a sword going to uh, the scabbard. You're going to pull the sword out of the scabbard, right, nice long pull, leading with the elbow. And what you're going to do with your non racket arm is you're going to generate this power here in this movement, right, flexing your arms. So you're going to come up and supinate your forearm, which means twist your forearm and hit. Boom. So again, position one, two, 
pull. Yeah. Now, when you hit a backhand, oh, I'm sorry. A is here, B is here. Now, when you go B to C, this is kind of where it gets a little fuzzy. I like to teach if you hit from A to B that you pull out this way. Or, I'm sorry, here. A to B, you pull out this way. A lot of people teach A to B and pull it back. So they teach A, A to B and back to A. I like to teach from A to B to C. Okay, so A, B, C. A to B is very important. Um, and the reason for that is because the shuttle is moving and your racket is moving. And when you are, when you're hitting a moving object, you want to, what they call, meet the shuttle. Like in baseball, if you are to hit a baseball pitch, and, you, and pretend this is a baseball bat, you want to meet the ball. Unlike golf, and it's a stationary object, if you're going to hit a golf ball, you actually want to hit through the golf ball. So if the golf ball is here, you want to hit like here, from A to B. And hitting the golf ball is just kind of like a byproduct of the swing. Unlike uh, badminton and uh, baseball, you want to hit A to B. Follow through is or B to C, which is called a follow through, is secondary. The A to B is the most important part. Like in two swings there, A to B is the most important. Um, you will see a variation of this at the clubs when people hit. They will not turn their shoulders. They don't turn their hips. And this is just uh, either out of laziness or bad training, but uh, it's best that you turn your hip and your shoulder every time you hit. Like uh, a baseball pitch, it is the release that counts, not the actual speed of the pitch. You want to disguise your shot. So you disguise your pitch in baseball by having a big windup and the release is the most deceptive part. Like badminton, when you are here, the release, this is all to hide your, your shot. From A to B, this is how much time you're giving your opponent to react to your shot. So if you come up this way, and you hold everything stiff and you do a drop shot. It, uh, your drop shot will look a lot like your clear. It looks a lot like your smash. So everything looks the same. Same thing with the backhand. Same thing with the backhand. That if you point from here, they can't tell, your opponent can't tell what you're going to hit until you make contact. So one, two, and swing. So the prep part is the most important. The, the, the one is set, two is getting ready. The, the ready part is the most important. Okay. I hope this helped. Uh, thank you for watching.